Hey, what's up guys? How's everybody doing? Welcome to the channel. Godless Gamer here, and you're joining me for the third episode in my brand new series, The Rise of House Redmore. This series is using the Elder Kings 2 uh, mod for Crusader Kings 3, and let me be honest, I'm having so much fun with this mod, like a lot, a lot of fun. And we've only just gotten started with this campaign. This is only episode three, and I'm already feeling good about it. And I'm really excited to hit the continue button, which is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna hit that continue button. Um, we're gonna do our normal realm management stuff in the beginning, you know, the stuff that I normally like to do. But very quickly, I wanted to cover something very quickly here. Um, we were, in our last episode, we were discussing the the cultural issue that we have, because um, my goal is to become the, uh, the cultural head here of the Gajulani culture. And um, I have an option in order to do that. I could uh, divert from the Gajulani culture and then just start my own, thereby making me the cultural head of my new culture. But um, there's a, something in the way. A, a, a culture with this heritage which is my heritage. Let me show you. Uh, my heritage is Dunmary. So a culture with this heritage is considered native to your capital's nativity region. So um, I didn't really understand that. I didn't know what a nativity region was, but I just did a little bit of looking in menus, and it shows you here in this window here, uh, the nativity region here. So the, na the, the nativity region of... Uh, Gajulani is all of this highlighted area so down south here and then all along this western coast so everything that's highlighted here is where my culture Gajulani is considered native and since we're over here and we're outside the nativity region we are in Ashlander at Vardenfell so Vardenfell is all of the basically the volcano the island the the island in the middle here, which for uh, any Warhammer fans, doesn't this remind you of Ulthwan? This just kind of reminds me of Ulthwan, but <laughs> that's for you uh, Warhammer people. But um, yeah, since our capital, since what we need to make this decision, the Diverge culture, since we have to have our capital in a native place of our culture, that means we would have to move our capital into that area, that highlighted area here, like all of this and then all of it. We'd have to move our capital here, which isn't really in the realm of me doing anytime soon. That's not something that I'm trying to do right now. So I think that if we do want to diverge our culture in the future, we have to think about m getting some lands here in Gajulani territory so we can do this. We'd have to move our capital here. Uh, thereby putting our capital in the nativity region of our culture, which is Gajulani. And the nativity region is here. I'm just reiterating all of this because I just want to be clear. This is the nativity region, and I would have to have my capital somewhere in here. So I think the, the most logical place would be right here. But I'm not thinking about fighting House Redoran right now. It's... It's... It's not something that I want to do right now. It's, I, I can't afford to go to a war with a power this big this soon. I have to do other things. I want to take advantage of the fact that there are little powers here on the island that are weak that I can take advantage of, which is what I want to do. I want to take Kogarun here. I think that's going to be the, f the first thing that I go for, the first conquest this episode, because they're a lonely power. They're a single power. They only have 733 soldiers. I can beat that handily. And plus, I want to work for this duchy, the duchy of Kogarun. I want this. So that would be a step in the right direction. And it's the duchy capital of Kogarun, and I want this. And on top of that, it's a, tr it's a castle holding. So that's something that I can personally hold without any penalties, like, uh, like a, a, a temple holding or a city holding. I can't hold those. That's why I gave them away. Uh, all of my vassals hold, have holdings that I can't hold. This is a, th um, 
this is a temple holding. This one's a city holding. This one's a temple holding. None of those I can hold personally, which is why I gave them away. But Kogarun is a castle holding. That's something that I can hold. So we want it. We want all the things that I can personally hold in my domain. I have a nice domain limit at 8. And we have some room that we can... We, we have some... We have room to take over land, so I just want to take land. I'm hoping I can take as much as possible in this episode, so we'll see. But that's going to be my ultimate goal, taking Kogarun and then maybe trying to make this duchy here. So fighting these guys too. So we're going to leave House Rhetorin alone. I, and I just wanted to talk about that cultural thing, so yeah. We're not going to diverge our culture at any time soon. I think I'm just going to stick to the old-fashioned way of conquering land and then promoting my culture. Uh, another good thing about Kogarun is there's God Julani here, so the, taking this is going to be good for us. This is of our culture. We want counties of our culture. So that's going to be that. We're going to get. We're going to do some realm management stuff. I'm going to go through the little menus here. I I do want to mess with my council first, and I was thinking at the end of the last episode of some things that I can do, and I decided that I'm going to marry one of my 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 counselors. Because we want to start filling up our, our court here. We don't have a lot of people here. And I want to start filling up my court with more Dark Elves. More people of my culture and more people of my race, obviously. We want children running around in court. So we're going to marry some people off. I'm going to make sure the marriage is matrilineal. Because she is Gajulani, so any children that she has with this guy... Their children will adopt her culture because it's matrilineal. And we want Gajulani. We want more Gajulani people. My realm priest is promoting a religion somewhere, which I need her to do. This is one of my personal holdings, so I need to personally convert it. So she's doing that. My steward is doing their thing, promoting culture. My marshal is incre increasing control in county. They're almost done, which is really good. And then my spy master's doing their thing. That's the spy master's fine. Uh, I'm gonna check my military very quickly. I'm noticing that I have a lot of prestige, and that and because now that we're a duke, now that we're a duke, it gave us another men at arms regiment that we can fill, and I want to fill that with war mages. Uh, War Mages are pretty strong. They counter heavy infantry and spearmen, and they're also um, they they're also uh, siege weapons. So we want to fill them up, get to full strength with our War Mages, and then I think we're going to declare this war. But we're not done with realm. We're not done with the realm management stuff. We're going to keep going. I uh, oh, I have a prisoner here. Who I can execute for free. Um, he is of the code of Malakath, and we consider them evil. We consider them evil, so I can execute this guy without being seen as a tyrant. We can burn him at the stake. I'll I'll gain some piety, so I'm benefiting myself by killing this guy. So we're gonna burn him at the stake and get our piety up. Thank you very much, Mr. Orc. Uh, why isn't it not? Oh, here we go. Sorry. So I, um, I'm also going to, we have a court jester position here and court jesters are really important for stress, especially because of me. I have some stress here, but I always think it's important to have a court jester in your court. They're relatively cheap. It's only 0 0.06 gold every month. So let's give it to somebody, um, one of these two, cause they're average at the job. We'll give it to the lowest opinion. And I'll gain an opinion bonus from them for giving them this job. They want to be a jester, so... <laughs> and he just looks ridiculous in that outfit. Or is that a she? I don't know. It's it's a woman, sorry. She just looks ridiculous. That's the scariest clown I've ever seen. So we're going to give away that position. Uh, we're not going to fill any of the other ones. I don't need to yet. They're still kind of too expensive. 0.12. I'll wait. I can wait. 
I am getting money, so it's not like money is going to be a problem, but let's save it up. Uh, was there anything else that I wanted to do? Yes. I have some magicka here that I'm that I have that I'm not using. I've already casted uh, I've already cast a summon Daedra Flame Atronach spell on myself for 20 years and it's going to last me until 463, so that's a decent amount of time. I don't need to cast it again. I was thinking that maybe I um cast some spells on my knights since I'm going to be fighting war soon. I can cast some spells on my knights. I'm going to give it to my two best knights. Um, yeah. Uh, summon a Flame Atronach is 40 Magicka. I have 80. I have 82, so I can cast this twice. I'm going to give two of my best knights uh, Flame Atronachs. So, this is one... And then this is another. So both of their prowess should go up by five. There we go. So now we have some now we have two badass knights. So that's gonna help me in the war. I don't need to worry about anything else. We are in the diplomacy lifestyle and we're gonna keep working. We want our befriended groom to rule uh perks. Um, who am I swaying? I'm swaying my marshal. Okay, we can we can continue that. We're gonna unpause. I'm done with realm management. We don't have any kids to educate, or and we already took care of that marriage, so we're good. We're gonna let our army get up to full strength. We're gonna go let our war mages get up to full strength, and then we're gonna declare war on Kogarun. We want this. We want this slope along the Red Mountain, because we are House Redmore of Redania. We want a piece of the Red Mountain. Uh, I don't have any decisions that I could do. I could do develop capital. But it's going to give me too much stress. But I do need to uh, start increasing the development of my capital. It's only at 5, and we want to work towards the goal of adopting the autocratic ways. And one of the criteria of that is the, the development level in the chiefdom of Redania, or my capital, is greater uh, or equal to 10. It's only at 5. So I need to work on improving the development in this, in my capital. Uh, another thing I have to do is get the absolute tribal authority. I have to get tr my tribal authority up to absolute, so I have to do all these things. And we want to work towards that, so that's another thing we have to do. This costs prestige, so I have to make sure I'm maximizing the amount of prestige that I'm getting. So there's a kind of kind of a few things that we have to be paying attention to as we progress here like how we're conquering, who we're conquering, what kingdoms that we want to create and our our cultural problem, our our cultural head problem that we have to solve. Um apparently I just got an unpressed claim on somewhere that I don't really need. I got an unpressed claim on this county. But that we don't need it. We already have a Conquer County Casus Belly, which is actually cheaper. It only costs me 25 piety as opposed to uh, doing a claim more. It costs me 100 prestige. So yeah, I think we're going to use the Conquer County one. So that unpressed claim is useless. Thanks a lot for that useless thing. I mean, I'm glad that... <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that a positive event happened, but... Something that I can use. I need something that I can use. Alright, our, uh, uh, excuse me. Our war mages are all at full strength, so we can go to war now. I think this shouldn't take too long. We're just gonna conquer them. It's gonna cost us some prestige, but that's okay. 
It's a little bit of a trek, but we want this. And I think after this war is done, we'll go to war with these guys, and I will grab a county from them. We want to get this duchy. I want this duchy. I want a foothold on Vardenfell. Like, I want a foothold on the island. I want a power base. Uh-oh, what's going on? Alright, somebody done messed up. My chancellor messed up. I lost an opinion of somebody. Or they lost opinion of me. That's what I meant. Alright, so my chancellor's screwing up. I just got you. I just married you off, girl. Aren't you happy? Doesn't that make you want to work harder? This terrain is pretty rough, so it kind of takes us a long time to march across. Volcanic Ashlands. I could demand a payment from my Jester, because I have a strong hook on them, but I'm going to wait till it gets to 10 out of 10. She can... <laughs> what I'm, she can save up the money that I'm paying her. She can save it up just so in time I can steal it back or I can demand it back again so she's working for free she just she just doesn't know it all right we won this handily figured we would Oh, um, while we're fighting, whenever we're at war, I'm going to try to keep my marshal on organized army, just to save us some money. She'll save us money, upkeep cost on my army, so we'll try to keep them unorganized. But whenever we're at peace, or there's a peace time, I'll put her in cre in, on increased control. We have to increase some control of some places. This This included, when we take it, there's going to be no control here. But we'll do that. We're doing that little by little. And my vassals can increase the control in their own realms. So I don't have to worry about some of this. I just have to worry about what I hold personally. Which is getting a big because I'm claiming a lot of stuff for myself. So, Alright, come fight me in suicide. And I mean, I give you, give you credit. You're giving it your best, but your best ain't good enough. Oh, I do like how the, uh, I do like how the, I have war mages in my, in my, uh, in my army, and they're considered, they're considered siege weapons, so I guess my war mages turn themselves into trebuchets, or they summon trebuchets, I guess that's how it works. They're not just using magic on the walls, they're summoning, they're summoning huge trebuchets. Alright, there's peace in Cyrodiil. There was like a war going on in Cyrodiil. Alright. So one of the guys won, one of the guys lost. Congratulations. That's not my part of the world. My part of the world is Morrowind. The concerns of the Empire do not concern me. They're just going to keep retreating and coming back and dying. Here they come. Round three. I am going to want to start building up some buildings in my holdings. At least money-making buildings. I don't have the prestige to do it, but I do want to slowly but surely start building buildings in my in my realm. That's where a lot of my money is going to be coming from. Aside from doing raids and stuff, we can do that. We can do that as well. But I mean like passive income from buildings. I can do active income by raiding, which we can do some of. 
We could do some writing. I am known as a deeply pious man. Surely my devotion to the good Daedra should be good for something in this life too, and not only in the next. There are a number of people who would do well to be reminded that I am in St. Veloff's good, good graces. Um, I could spend some piety, gain some prestige. That looks pretty good. I can sp spend some piety and gain some money. Or I can get something that I don't care about right now. So, yeah. Uh, prestige or money? Prestige or money? I'm going with prestige. And I'm going with conquest. Thank you, sir. Alright, so that's good. This place is of the Gajulani culture, which just increased the amount of counties we have now two that's including the one we converted not including the one we're converting now so we're making our way towards <laughs> this number it might not take as long as you, as we think all right i got a prisoner what do you like wow she has really good learning i do like her Oh, she's of a different religion, and she's of a different house. Or a, a different uh, culture, that's what I meant. I do like her personality traits. I do like that she's a mastermind philosopher and is 18 learning, but she could just get out. I have to think about prisoners that I capture and whether I'm going to recruit them or not, because... I mean, I don't have a lot of people in my court right now, so if I get a good prisoner, I can get a free courtier. I have a feeling it's going to take her a lot of time to save up that money for this. <laughs> She's, it's going to take her a long time. But I have a strong hook, so strong hooks don't go away. They're permanent. So let's go recharge our army, and then we're going to fight the next person here the tribe of Kushtashbi and I'm gonna take this county because it's a tribal holding and I can hold tribal holdings it's a tribe holding I can personally hold them so I'm gonna prioritize this alright now that it's a bit of peacetime the very short peace time that we're going to have, I'm going to make sure my marshals increase in control. Once we go to war, we'll switch back to organized army. I just have to pay attention to that. Because I do have control issues that need to be solved. And we are... Alright, so we have a decent amount of money and we have a decent amount of prestige. Like I said, I'm going to very quickly invest in some money-making buildings, so... In Shara here, I'm going to build some markets. This will give me some gold every month. And then I'm also going to want to build in my capital. I want to build uh, the gathering halls here. Because the holder of this holding gains 0.25 prestige every month. So this is another source of prestige income that I could do. I wanted to priori uh, prioritize money first. And then we could do prestige. And we still have a decent amount of money, and we're up to 4.4 uh, gold every month. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it, it's just going to grow as the control levels in the places that I'm taking increase. Alright, this guy wants to start exchanging letters with me. I can get a pin with him, no thank you. I could get more prestige, or I could reduce some stress. We're not having stress issues right now, I really do want to prioritize my prestige. We're getting a lot of prestige, which is really good. I might be able to build this building really soon, actually. I could build it right now. I'm building I'm building con, uh, longhouses. 63 gold. 190 prestige. We have it. And this will increase my prestige every month. So we're getting some things built. So just over time, that's going to compound. And 
we're going to be getting more and more money, and we're going to be getting more and more troops. So everything is just going to improve. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that's the fun part of building. That's the fun part of an, an uh, that's the fun part of a, the early part of a campaign. It's like it's the early part, and it's about gathering up momentum and gathering up your strength and capturing things strategically. And personally, I enjoy the beginning of campaigns like really a lot. I really enjoy the beginnings. Things feel fresh. And you just get to watch yourself grow, you know? Alright, so we're done swaying that person. We're gonna switch to our powerful vassals. We're gonna sway our powerful vassals. Nope, oh, she got her two gold. Now she has two now. I have to keep glancing at this. All right, so our armies are at full strength. I'm going to quit talking, and I'm going to start paying attention, and we're going to go to war with these, um, the, uh, the Kushtashbi. We're going to get Ben Sa- Ben Samsi. Ben Samsi. Or Ben Samsi. Whatever. Whatever. 25 devotion, which is what we have in abundance. So let's go. Gonna put my marshal back on organize. Save me some money. This should be an easy war. All right, it's going to take us seven months. I have a feeling they're going to go siege this castle. But we'll have progressed so much with our siege. By the time they get close to capturing this, we'll be done and we'll be able to march on them and kill them. Kill them and slaughter them. They want to die on the, they want to die on the slopes of the Red Mountain. Let's oblige them. But once we capture their county first... Yeah, it's going to take them eight months. We're going to finish way before then. We got our first diplomacy perk. I'm going to get a uh, befriend. And then once this sway scheme is done, we're going to start befriending our counselors. I want to befriend my chancellor and I want to befriend my steward. It will speed up their tasks. We can call a hunt. I'm gonna wait until I gather up some more money first. Maybe when the war is over. I think once this war is over, there's going to be a truce with them. And then maybe during that peace time, maybe we can look around and see who we can raid. Maybe there's some people that we can raid and get some quick money. Uh, while her numerous attempts to curry my favor have not gone unnoticed, I cannot feel but irritated by Priestess Lani's sudden interest in me. She wants to do me. I mean, I'm a, I'm a sexy dark elf. I get it. I don't want to take any more stress for her. It'll get, increase her opinion of me, but... Alright, fine. We'll take a little bit of a stress hit for her. I wouldn't mind the increased opinion. Let's go murder some Dark Elves. Uh, we're gonna have to convert this. We're gonna have to convert Kogarun once we're done with this. <laughs> I 
It's like the men are desperate. They're like, hurry, get over the wall, siege the walls before they get here. But they're not going to make it. They are barely going to make it. Gotcha. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be enough to end the war, winning this battle. It might not be enough. We might have to capture something else. Unless we capture somebody valuable. Nope. Alright, let's go t take a castle. Alright, I would go for their capital, but I would take attrition on the way there. So, we're just gonna go for this one. Alright, I think I'm going to go on that hunt now. We're running a little bit low on prestige. This will gain us some prestige. Cost us some gold, but we have that. And it'll reduce some stress that I just took for that woman to be nice. Let's get that stress relieved. Let's go kill something to, re to relieve stress. She got wounded. I gained practiced field surgery for 10 years. I could gain some prestige at the expense of her opinion. She gained the trait. All right, let's be nice. I wouldn't mind this practice. I wouldn't mind this learning for 10 years plus one. It's not amazing, but. All right, let's be nice. I'm a nice guy. We've got 20 prowess. Alright, we got some we got some prestige. That was good. That's all we wanted out of that. Alright. Hopefully just this will be enough to win. Maybe they'll come suicide against us. Nope. They're going out to sea for some reason. What are you doing? Uh-oh, I'm being raided. That's not good. Who are you? I really want to know. All right, they're all the way they're all the way down in Black Marsh. They came really far to raid me. Wow, jerks. I don't know if we can stop them. It's going to take a while for my Oh, how much loot do they have? They have 26 gold. Maybe after this battle's over, we can go catch them. They're coming over here. Let's go. Let's go do it. Uh, I'm going to take attrition. You know what? We're going to go out to sea. It's going to cost us 25 gold. That means it's not going to be worth it. Uh, I've got choices to make. He's going to go raid me. Alright, fine. Let him raid me. Let him raid me. Because the second I get distracted going after him, this guy's gonna take things. See, he's gonna come back again. He's gonna come back and go to this. Every time he goes out to sea, he's spending money. So, fine. If he wants to keep spending money going out to sea... And one of my vassals was just taken prisoner. Damn it. Alright, maybe finally this battle will end the war. So we can go get those raiders.
There we go. Alright. You guys... Alright, I'll spend the 23. I don't care. I'll spend the 23. Why does it say... I finished reading the latest letter from my vassal. She seems to have warmed to me at last. Oh, I'm swaying her. 66% chance that we could succeed. Let's do it. She appreciates it. No, nope, I'm already going out. I'm not going to land in time. They're going to get away just in time. Oh my god. You bastards. Alright, you know what? When I take over my empire, they're getting some. If I even remember. They are gonna... They've just incurred the wrath of House Redmore. Alright, on the bright side of things, we did just get this. We won the war. I'm gonna put my uh, marshal back on increased control. And I think we're going to have a little bit of a peace time. Some of these powers around here are a little bit too strong for me to go to war with right now. Well, I guess I could go to war with Zynab. Or Zynab. But I'm not worried about these yet. I'm worried about this duchy first. Maybe we can raid Zynab. Let's raid them. I'm not going to waste time trying to murder this leader to end the truce faster. There's no predicted agents that will help me, and the odds of it happening are really low. So I won't bother trying to murder. I'll just let the uh, the scheme, or I'll just let the truce end on its own. But let's raid. We were just raided, so let's get our revenge. Let's take it out on other people. And let's raid. We're going to try to avoid raiding Talvani. But we can raid Zynab. Maybe we can raid? No, we can't. We can't. We have a truce with them, so I don't think we can raid them. Let's raid Zynab. Nope, I'm just going to keep them on increased control. That's fine. We're, we, we're getting enough money. We don't have to prioritize that. Oh, I'm going to take attrition. Not if I go this way. This place has 19 loot, so let's go get it. Virgin unrated lands just sitting there waiting for us. We'll see how many castles we can raid. Ooh, we can go for this one next. 25 loot. All right, we're going to put our marshal on increasing control somewhere else, wherever it's going to take the least amount of time. Four years, four years, six years. Since this is on our island, let's do this one next. And then once my priest is done with Dralas, we need to send him here to Kogarun. We need to convert that, too. So much micromanagement. But that's, that's fun. I enjoy it. I'm not giving you gold. It's not worth it. Alright, our longhouses got finished in Redania. That's going to give us more prestige every month. From Domain. I think that's where it's included in that. From Domain. Next victim. We should make a lot of money out of this. We've already got 19. There's 16 here. Oh, poor Zynab. But not really. We don't care about them. We want their money. And I mean, this is one of the benefits of being a tribal government. You can you can raid people. I can ransom somebody? Ooh, yes. 
I captured somebody during that raid. See, that's even more money for me. Thank you. Yeah, this is uh, honest and fair money. Honest and fair raid. Uh, we're going to take attrition there. This has already been raided. Uh, we're going to take a bunch of attrition. Nope. <laughs> Alright, that's a decent amount. Everywhere else, I'm just going to take attrition. Oh, are they coming after me? Oh no, this is a different raiding army trying to take my stuff from me. Did we get anything out of that? Did they have any loot that we just took? I don't know. We've got 61 gold. Alright, I'm satisfied with that. Let's go back, back to our borders and cash in. We're going to get some prestige as well from this. Uh-oh, somebody sieged me? Did Was I not paying attention? I must have just gotten raided when I wasn't paying attention, guys. I don't know. Somebody just died in a siege. Which is not great. I think now that now that I have a bunch of uh, prestige that I can spend, and I just delivered in, I just cashed in on some, I think I'm going to invite some oath men. Let's start filling up our court with some people. Maybe we'll get some good knights out of it. We need some way to fill our court out. I just lost a courtier. Like, this is my court. It's not, it's not like, really, really dangerously small, but... We like bigger courts. What's my dread? I've got ten dread. We're gonna disband this army now. Thank you for thank you for that good rating, boys. Uh, it doesn't really impress me. I don't know if I want to recruit them. I'll get a hook on them. Oh, no, he won't take it. All I can do is release them. A woman with really good learning. Can I execute her? Yeah, some random guy will hate me for it. <laughs> No, it's just going to cost me things. It's not. I'm not going to benefit in any way. Just get out. Give me a hook and get out. And yes, I was raided by somebody when I wasn't paying attention. Yep, there's no loot here anymore. And that means I'm going to have to increase control in my capital. Let's do that very quickly. All right, an oath man arrived. He has a congenital trait, which makes him a little bit more attractive. Because if I marry him in, like, if I marry him off, I can get start getting courtiers with uh, inheritable traits. But he doesn't really impress me. I won't dismiss him. He'll stay as my guest for a while. He'll stay as my guest. He'll be right here. But I wasn't really impressed with his, um, his prowess. I want to bring in people with good prowess. So we're just going to have to wait four years for this truce to end. I don't think we can raid anybody else. I guess we could raid this guy, but it's a little bit of a, a a trek, and he has no loot. Oh. 
uh, High Velothi, which is my religion, is appearing somewhere. Where? Oh, down in Black Marsh. Oh no, it's still considered Morrowind. All right, cool. Our our religion is spreading down here. Yeah, ruler embraces the true faith. It's not heresy to us, but... See, like, our religious enemies are the tri the tribunal temple, so we have to start converting um, our realm and as much as we can to the High Velothi faith. And then maybe in the in the future we can somehow make ourselves the leader of the faith or whatever. We can create the head of faith. Your realm does not contain at least two high velothi holy or holy holy sites. So if we just had some holy sites like do this one, we can consecrate a new holy site in the capital. It's very expensive, but if we did this a couple of times, we could become the the head of the faith. So we could probably try to do that, too. Oh, we're going to put our marshal on control. Oh, yeah. She's done increasing the control in Redania. Let's go back to... Jeralus. We've almost got full control on, the, on our duchy. Just a couple more. Oh, she has five gold now. Let's wait until she gets to ten. I'm paying her well. She's starting to save it up. Alright, this... This person's done being swayed. I don't need to sway them anymore. We want to keep our powerful vassals happy. And, um... Let's take a look around and see if there's any good wives around yet. Let's go by inheritable traits. Ooh, here we go, guys. Here we go. We're starting to get some we're starting to get some people with some traits here. Ooh, this this woman has a cute which is a congenital trait based for magicka and it gives you a disease resistance, monthly magical arts lifestyle experience plus 20%. This is a congenital trait. So we are starting to get some more people in our realm with some positive inheritable traits. I think we're going to just keep waiting a little bit of time. The more, the bigger I make my realm, the greater the pool of people that I get to choose from. I'm not going to put on, put it off for too much longer. We are getting up to 70 years old. I said I wanted to get married around this time, but I think I can wait for some more potential wives. So I'm just going to wait. We'll start having kids soon, guys. We'll start having kids soon. Eventually. We don't need to worry about it right now. We've got we've got land to conquer. Let's enjoy our our batch uh, our bachelor status and just focus on conquest. Then we can settle down. All right, we have a whole bunch of gold now. Can we spend it? Um, I'm trying to avoid hosting feasts for the most part. It will relieve some stress, but it's going to be expensive. And um, going on a lot of feasts or going to a lot of feasts and hosting a lot of feasts uh, runs me the risk of becoming a reveler. And if I become a reveler, I won't be able to embrace celibacy anymore. So I kind of want to avoid... Um, Earning the Reveler trait. And hosting a lot of feasts does that. You can gain the trait Eager Reveler. Wow. A goblin. A goblin thinks it can come into my court. This old goblin, or at least this old-looking goblin. It's 49. It's younger than I am, but... <laughs> It looks like an old woman in a in a goblin body. Anyway, she wants to be my knight. No, thank you. I think we're just gonna... 
I can't dismiss her. It's going to cost me prestige. If I had some more prestige to mess around with, I'd kick her out. But now I have this, I have this person in my court that hates me. I want to get her out of here. It's going to, you know what? I'm just doing it anyway. I just, I just didn't want somebody who despises me in my court. Anyway, her goblinness is just stinking my court up, and I don't want that. I guess we can start making sure we're building buildings again. We can build some money buildings here. Uh, Kogarun already has some buildings here. It gives me a little bit of tax here. This one's about defense. This one gives me some levies. And increases heavy infantry damage, but I don't have any heavy, heavy infantry, so... But our money income is starting to go up. Now we're up to five. A month. And that's just going to keep increasing. I can torture somebody? No, thank you. I lose 10 dread. Okay, let me read this. I am passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of Palava and Villarani. Alright, so they're conspiring together, but we don't know what, right? Alright, let's just do this one. I guess they really were conspiring, so lock up the lock up the traitors. I have few knights. I'm forbidding my marshal from being a knight. Let's allow him now, just so we can get to our max level of knights allowed. And I think maybe I am just gonna hire that one dark elf knight here. He's comely. It's just that his prowess isn't great. It's not horrible. This guy's useless to me. Alright, you know what? He's of the Gajalani culture, so let's bring him in. It's only going to cost me 11 gold. That's nothing. And then now we can... I'll force him, and then we'll find our marshal again, and we'll forbid him. I don't want my counselors to be knights. That's just me personally. If they die in battle, I lose a really good counselor. Alright, two more years until we can go to war again. Not really much around that we can raid. I guess I could possibly raid the Urshilaku. They only have just under 3,000, but they might... He has a lot of money here. He has a thousand gold. So he might be able to hire mercenaries or something to kill me. So I'm not going to risk it. Let's just enjoy the peacetime while we can. Let's enjoy the two more years of peace that we have. Um, I have a whole bunch of Magicka again. Since I'm getting so much Magicka, it's, it's charging up pretty fast. Let's uh, enact one of our rituals and uh, decrease the amount of casualties that we take. And then let's spend this. Let's spend this magicka somehow. I'm going to spend it. Oh, there's some children. Oh my god, look at them. Look at their scary faces. We're starting to have some kids. One of them had a congenital trait, which is good. But we're finally starting to have kids. They're all of the god Jelani culture, which is really good. 
a new generation of scary elves. Anyway, I got distracted. What was I about to do? Oh yeah, m a magic. I want to see what we can cast. Fortify walls is kind of useless to me. I could use the charm, I guess. I guess we can use it on people. Let's charm one of our powerful vassals. Uh, maybe one of our counselors we can charm as well. Let's charm our realm priest. I mean, I have the magicka. I'm not using it. I might as well use it to do something positive. Like that. And let's charm our steward as well. Or no, 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 no. Or yes, let's charm our steward and then we're going to try to befriend her. Maybe charming her will increase the the odds of uh, our, the befriend scheme going through. 100%. Alright, we're going to befriend our steward. And that, you know, we spent some of our magicka. That's good. We'll let it build up again. All right, finally some stress relief. And now we're going to get Groom to rule. I think I'm going to stay in diplomacy for a little bit longer. I am getting prestige income from this. Monthly prestige per dread. Maybe this will be useful. Yeah, I'm only going to stay in Diplomacy for a little bit longer. Maybe grab one or two more perks. We are coming up on an hour, but I'm hoping that this truce ends by... Oh, let's... Maybe we can speed it up. By the good danger, the party is boring. This person has got to be the worst host the world has ever seen. How can mortal man be expected to endure his, this snoring celebration of mediocrity? Perhaps, perhaps I can get to know her better. Maybe we can become friends. She is a powerful vassal, so being her friend would be useful. I can gain some prestige at the expense of her opinion. But all my guests and court, or all guests and courtiers at the party that we're at, quietly slink away. Let's get her as a friend. Let's try to befriend her. She's a powerful vassal, so. Being on good terms with powerful vassals would be useful. Alright, I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Let's try to get this truce to end. 23 months, that's not bad. Let's grab this, finish this Duchy of Kogarun, and then we I guess we can create the title. We can create the Duchy title. Oh, no, 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 we don't have to. We don't have to. Let's finish the duchy, though. We don't have to create the title. I don't want to have... I don't want to have duplicates of of my highest title. Um, for reasons. I, I don't want to have my highest title duplicated. I don't want that. Not while I can help it. If I have to do that, I'll do it. But I'm not doing that. To prevent f any errors... Or, I'll, I'll explain when it happens, but... I, I, I just don't need the duchy title right now. It's not use, useful to me. I guess it would give me some prestige. That would be useful to me. But I think that's about it. Alright, you know what? Even though we're going to go over an hour, we're just about to hit an hour. Let's wait. Now let's wait for this truce to end. 15 months. We'll go to war and then we'll end it. And then I'll uh, I'll wrap up the episode. My vassal is pregnant and is in a fornicator. 
Oh, she's just being a naughty girl, isn't she? Oh, um, I didn't notice that my Realm Priest is done converting. Let's start converting here. It's gonna take four years. And then we can befriend our uh, Realm Priest. After we're done with this one. Almost. Alright, uh, I do need to... Let's go on another hunt. I uh, You know what? Let's not. We have a lot of money here. Let's go on another pilgrimage and try to get the um, wise man trait. We want the wise man trait. We'll go on the cheapest one. Or no, maybe we can go to the... Let's go to the expensive one. We can afford it. Let's see if this works out. I want the wise man trait. If we get it, it benefits us in a lot of ways. A small chance I gain, the, uh, gain wounded. I'm not spending all of that, and I'm not spending that. 84% chance. There we go. Got some prestige out of it. I'm really hoping that this pilgrimage turns out good. See? We can gain the trait wise man. 73% chance. We did get the trait pilgrim, which is nice. Monthly piety. Permanent. Same faith opinion, so everybody of my faith gains plus five opinion of me. All right, let's see if we get wise man, please. Yeah, oh uh, no, pilgrim and wise man. And we went up to our, a level of devotion. Um, why is wise man so good? Well, wise man, not only uh, is it virtuous to our... It's, it's, it's a trait that's virtuous to our religion, so it gives us piety. And everybody who's high velothi gains some opinion of us. Not only that, but we get some magica, magica and learning. And this trait can improve. This is only the first level of it. So if we, if we improve this, we can just benefit from it so much. All right. All right, I'm going to leave it on four speed. I'm going to leave it on four speed just so we can get through these last six months as, as quick as possible. And then we'll declare war, end the war, and then we'll end the episode. My befriend scheme is already at 100%. I don't need to make it better. I don't need to waste money on it. Uh, we're up to 7 gold a month. And now that we have a lot of prestige, let me build something somewhere. Do I want... I want prestige. So let's build a longhouse somewhere, I guess. Alright, Dralus needs one. Let's do it. Let's build longhouses. This will increase our... You gotta spend prestige to make prestige. And we still have a lot of money. Uh, now that we're wise man, now that, now that we have the wise man trait, we can hold a mystical, mystical communion. It's gonna cost us some piety, which we have plenty of. And it's gonna give us learning lifestyle experience. So um, we can gain divine guidance. Marshall plus one, learning plus one for five years. Let's do it.
All right, my it's another attempt to make my uh, powerful vassal my friend. Let's try it again. All right, we're friends now. Uh oh. Mystical communion, something went wrong. My communions with the divine have been different lately. They no longer make me feel ecstatic, but instead weak. Today I, today I cannot even muster the strength to rise from bed. All right, so I got the ill trait, but that's okay. I have a really good physician. I have a really good physician. He recommends a simple treatment, so we'll do no more than what is necessary. There we go. Excellent work. All right, our truce is over. Let's go. Let's get this war started and over with. We're going for this county. It's the last piece of the duchy that we need. Oh, they're all spawning separately. Alright, me and my steward are now friends. Let's befriend our realm priest now. Well, let's try. I want to see how long it's going to take us to siege versus them. Six months, nine months. Alright, we should be okay. We should finish our siege first. Seven months, five. If I have to sail across the ocean to make it quicker to get there, I'll do that instead of having to march all the way over here. They might get this holding. They might get it. But as long as we capture the war target, this dotted area, the county that we declared war for, as long as we control it, they have to take it back. Uh, if they don't, our war score is just going to tick up naturally. Alright, I'm better again. I'm going to assault the fort just to make this quicker so we can jump over there sooner. Go. Go. I'm going to arrive in two months. They have three months to go. We might just make it. We might just... Nope, nope, we're not. It's going to take 48 days. Alright, you know what? It doesn't matter. They're going to take the holding. Let's just get over here, fight them, and then we'll then we'll take it back. They're just going to have to retreat into my realm. Or leave by boat. But I don't think they have the, the time. They really want this castle. At the expense of them losing this army. You guys are done for. They're going to try to run and get on a boat. I think that's what they're going to try to do. All right, they want to lead us on a chase. Oh, now they're going to come out this way. Interesting. Sneaky. Uh, I think they're just going to come back and try to take the war target back. Yeah. Unless we catch them on the way, we might catch them on the way. We're catching up to them. I think. Oh, oh we got them! <laughs> we got them before they could get here. That's funny. I hope this ends the war. 
Nope. Alright, they're making us go for their capital. Wasting my time. Making me jump through hoops. Making me chase them all around creation. Let's just get their capital. This will end the war. I think they're just going to come suicide against me. Are they going to go around me and try to get to the war target? Yeah. <laughs> Depending on how long it takes for them to take this back, we will make our decision. Four months. Five months. Alright, we want to get the war target. We don't want to lose it. We're going to give up this siege. Alright, they're making it, uh, they're making it tricky. They're making us think. Not very hard, but they're making us think. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do the same thing again. They're gonna go back to their... They're gonna go back to their occupied territory. And then here we go again. They're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna salt the fort. I'm gonna take a lot of casualties, but I don't care. Uh, you know what? I should care. At least we got the progress up. This way we can just take the capital. I don't have to get off of it. We don't have to end the siege early. Let's just finish it. There we go. We're gonna have to let our armies recharge. We kind of forced them to take some losses. But as long as I have as long as I have my land, I don't care. Which is funny because we're gonna have to give it away. This is a temple holding, so I can't hold it. But I said I was going to end it here. But uh, actually, let me do some uh, realm management stuff. I noticed that we do have some kids now in our court. So it, it should be good to... And they all have their childhood traits have all um, expressed themselves. So let's get them educated. He wants to be stewardship. That's not a big deal. That's fine. We'll give it to my steward. He wants to be either learning or stewardship. Let's do... Let's do learning. Alright, my wise woman. I want somebody with good learning traits. Well, let's do my steward again. That's fine. And then last one is Rowdy. We can do Intrigue. Let's do Intrigue. You're dark Elf. You do Intrigue. My Spy Master. No, let's do My Wise Woman. She's pretty good with Intrigue. And now that I have children in my court, I need to get a court tutor. A uh, court tutor un uh, unlocks the, or no, improves education outcomes. So let's get a tutor. Somebody who doesn't have a job yet. Everybody here is going to be good. Let's grab somebody from the good aptitudes. Let's grab the lowest opinion so they can get opinion from me. There we go. We are still not married. Let's check again. Nobody really knew. I think this quick person is new.
All right, so we're starting to get more women in my diplomatic range that are... that have in inheritable traits. So we're, we're going to keep putting off marriage. But yeah, um, I hope you guys don't mind that we went a little bit over. I went over by 15 minutes. I hope you appreciate that. We did... I did want to get this duchy done. I thought we could do it in one episode, and I made sure that we did. So we got one more duchy. Complete duchy. We're not going to create the title yet. We can save. We can say, hold on to that and save our time. But now we have a nice foothold on Vardenfell. And I think that maybe we can start taking over Zainab. And then we're going to put our steward on Promote Our Culture. This is only going to take four years. All right, that's good. Get rid of these orcs. Or, uh, yeah, that's the culture here. Mountain orc. We want, we want real culture here. And then I think everybody else is okay. We're in peacetime right now. So we'll have our marshal increase control. Where our money income is doing really well. We still need to do a little bit of work on our prestige. Our our uh, piety is going up really well. So we're, I think we're in a good. I think we're in a good spot. We really have to start focusing on some of the major decisions that we want to make, and how we want to start advancing our conquest. But we can decide all of that in the next few episodes, guys. So I am officially calling it here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Don't forget to leave a thumbs a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and let me know what you guys think of the, the series in the comments. I always enjoy reading them. So until the next episode of The Rise of House Redmore, take it easy, guys.